Hi everybody, today we're looking at 27 Lewis Avenue in Egg Harbor Township, New Jersey. This is a two bedroom, two bath, manufactured home in Harbor Crossings Manufactured Home Community, which is a land lease community. Hi everybody, this is Maria Dolan, Marketing Director for Harbor Crossings. This house arrived on two days ago. Um, we're at December 21st and um, I missed the house actually arriving, but it was on the lot by the time I got over there. So Ron is our driver and he drove the house all the way from Ephrata, Pennsylvania. This is a champion home and the division that we use is Redmond Homes. Uh, champion has about 40 plants across the country and um, the division that we use is the Redmond Homes brand. So this house is the gray vinyl siding and the white shutters. There's two other houses in the background. Those two have already sold. And um, that's Roger and he is the lead car that um, leads Ron all the way across the country. And they have to follow a whole bunch of rules including curfews and detours for hauling this heavy long um, product across our highways. A lot of rules they have to follow. So here you see the concrete pad that's under the house and I've done other videos in the past explaining it. You see some circular um, markings on the concrete pad and those are the uh, those tubular sections are re receive concrete all by themselves separate from the pad that go down below the frost line. Sometimes they're up to 36 inches deep or two feet deep. I mean, it's pretty deep to get down beyond the frost line. And it also depends on the soil. So um, here you see Roger taking off everything that's on the house that made it um, protection on the highway with lighting and whatever else they have to follow, the signs. And here you see our sign for sale and the website, My Home in Harbor Crossings. So now I jumped inside the house and this is the first time we're looking at it. And um, this is the beautiful kitchen. We have four stainless steel appliances, the microwave, the stove oven, the dishwasher, and the refrigerator. And that is a huge farm sink. So there looking back is the living room and the front door. And all the boxes you see on the ground are the items that the guys have to finish once the house arrives. So most of the houses are about 80% complete when um, they arrive. And then we have to do all the finishing work. And then we have to tie the house to all the utilities, uh, electric, water, and sewer. So here you see the laundry room area. And this is regular size um, washer and dryer. There's the valves. Now you're also seeing the house um, as it comes with the little rubber bands that hold everything in place. So we're gonna take those off together and see everything for the first time. Here is the shower stall. It's a one piece fiberglass shower stall with two seats. The house arrives with the top of the commode hidden away underneath the cabinet to protect it from breakage. So I'm going to pick it up and put it on the lid and then you can see how pretty it looks um, once I put the top on. Here's the sink and the countertop. There's that pretty commode I told you. There's the beautiful flooring. It's vinyl flooring throughout. There is a framed mirror and then we have to put the light bulbs and the globes for all the fixtures. All the doors are protected with plastic, so the guys will be taking those off also. So this is your first bedroom in the back of the house. It's got one window. These are all thermal pane windows. And um, this is water resistant, neutral colored um, paper on the walls. And we'll have the electric set up and those are LED lights in the ceiling. You see the closet is protected with that orange band while it's traveling on the highway. 
and again the plastic covering to protect the door. Then inside the closet you have the shutoff valve for the whole house for water. And on the other side is what we call the data plate. Here you see the wire rack. This information is um, the serial number and then this is how the house is made to the code for New Jersey, um, the region for New Jersey. I believe it's region one or two. I already forgot and I can't see it that fast. And walking across the kitchen and the living room, we'll go to the other side of the house and there's another bedroom and another bathroom. So you've got a huge counter for the sink and this is the one piece fiberglass tub. Whenever we have two bedroom, two bath, we do one as a shower stall and one as a tub. You've got your transom window above the tub and then um, you've got a medicine cabinet above the commode. And again, we'll have to get the lid out and put it on top. So let's do that. Make it all pretty. Doesn't that look nice? I really like that floor. I think that's the travertino floor. So we're like minutes from the, 15 minutes from the ocean and I love that the whole house has white and bright and it's really um, summery and beachy. Here's the furnace. The parts to the furnace are laying in the middle of the living room so that nothing falls during um, travel. And again, the guys will put all that together. This front bedroom has um, double windows, really bright and sunny. There's the guys that are working on the house right this minute. Again, the LED lights above, and then the closet has the wire rack. At the into the video you'll see the floor plan also. So let's take a look at the kitchen one more time. Let's look out the window. There will be one more house arriving. There's Tom. He's lending me a hand to get down the steps and turns out that I jumped in the house before they had actually finalized the placement of the house. They're very particular about that um, so it lines up with the pad and then lines up with the um, connections underneath for gas, water, sewer, and electric. This is um, city sewer and city water in this community. Um, some of the other communities near us in Egg Harbor Township are septic. We are very blessed to have uh, water and sewer connection directly to the city. So when the truck is done putting the house on the lot, we use the Bobcat to maneuver it more precisely. It's a really uh, fabulous thing that they've come up with to precisely locate the house where it needs to be. So after this, there'll be a series of um, steps that they'll take, taking off the tires, the axles, putting in um, concrete supports underneath the steel beam. Then they'll put the crisscross metal steel strapping, which are called tie downs. Um, there's a lot that they do. We have like a 38 point checklist from the time the house arrives. The hardest part is waiting for um, the electric and the gas company to connect us. So sometimes things are out of our control with regards to that or the weather. At this point, we're about three months out, so this house will be available in March.
but I, like I said, there's a lot of work to be done. You see the steps next door on the tan house? The guys have to add those. Those are custom built. They'll do the skirting. They'll do the gutters. They'll add the storm doors. Um, yeah, there's a lot to be done. So when I say that we do the construction, I really mean that we're doing all of the finishing work because obviously the house was constructed in the manufacturing facility. So Joe is in the driver's seat and the guys are giving him the hand signals to be able to precisely pivot and maneuver the house right where they want it. This house has a two car driveway and um, that's the maximum amount of vehicles allowed in uh, every single house in the community. Uh, we follow a lease and I provide that to everyone who um, emails us and fills out the pre-qualifying questions on the website. So the website is there. If you're interested in um, the purchase of this home, fill out the form and then that'll initiate a series of emails from us with regards to different parts, the financing, the process, the application, um, and almost all of your questions are answered on the website. I've really expanded our website to be um, very um, cohesive with regards to all the questions people could have. There's a whole tab section there that explains um, the lot fee and the amount. So basically you have your lot fee that covers your water, sewer, garbage and recycling pickup and then the leasing of the land and um, then you pay separately for you utilities and that would be gas and electric and then uh, whatever you pay for the loan on the house which is separate if you're not if you're paying cash I mean you wouldn't have that expense in any event the financing is very tricky I get a lot of people coming to us with pre-approvals from traditional banks and unfortunately they do not provide housing um, loans for land lease homes um, they would provide a loan if you owned the land but in this case the houses are considered more of a chattel loan or an installment loan very similar to a car loan so there are no realtor fees no attorney fees um, in essence you're purchasing a vehicle although in essence no one ever moves these vehicles or these houses once they arrive I believe in the 40 years that we've been doing this there's only been two people who actually took their whole house apart and found um, a hauler and uh, took it to I believe North Carolina so uh, it can be done but it's almost never done because the value of the house is in the location and where it's um, residing if you take it off the lot your value completely changes and the reason the value stays for these particular homes is um, a how you keep your house B uh, how we keep the community and C uh, the desirability of that particular town so Egg Harbor Township is very desirable the school systems top-notch and um, so our values in our communities just keep going um, up and up and the more that we build new houses around the community the more the values of other people's homes go up so it's a very exciting win-win um, situation so they're still trying to get that precisely you see that they're very particular about that this is a very quiet community the Dolan family has owned this since 1974 and like I mentioned we're conveniently co located 15 minutes away from Ocean City beaches, Margate beaches, Atlantic City. Um, there's This is really like a resort area down here. A lot of times you hear seagulls, you've got a lot of waterway nearby, a lot of people love living down here because they go fishing. Um, it's just wonderful. So here's um, some still photographs of the house and you can enjoy those and then at the end I'll give you some more information.
Harbor Crossings is a Dolan Homes community owned by um, the Dolan family. We're a small family business. We've been in operation for almost 40 years now. This is Robert Dolan, who man is the managing member of Dolan Homes. We build innovative, quality manufactured homes in our three New Jersey communities. In Edison Mobile Estates, Harbor Crossings, and Carteret Mobile Park. This is my husband, my nephew, and my son. This is our amazing crew. Everyone's on board to build you the most beautiful manufactured home. This is our maintenance team in Harbor Crossings. This is our construction team. Our community is um, a beautiful, safe location for having a home, making it affordable. Harbor Crossings pays the real estate taxes, so you're leasing the land, and we're building beautiful manufactured homes. This is my husband and myself. This is our office fronting Black Horse Turnpike. You can email us for an appointment. We see everybody by appointment only. This is our office. We have everybody go to the website where all the explanations, the process, and the available homes are listed. We're really proud of our location. We're in the downtown Egg Harbor Township area, just about to be redeveloped, which is called the Cardiff Redevelopment and it's going to encompass the whole um, area in which we are located and they'll be adding more sidewalks and better access to stores on the other side where the old Boscovs and the Harbor Square is located and it's a very exciting time to be in Egg Harbor Township. We're minutes from the beaches and great, great locations so come check us out. We can't wait to hear from you. There's our website. That's where you start.